Cutie Zane is so excited for the show, they're like, so, is this the place? Rick says, yes, and I am very scared. Oh, you're very scared. Rick, don't be scared. Cutie Zane and I are here to protect you. Cutie Zane says, don't worry, Rick, we are safe together. Rick says, okay, but I don't think that he's actually super convinced. Does Rick know something that we don't? Rick's like, also, the show is about to start, so let's take a seat. Okay, it looks like there's lots of seats available. Do you guys like sitting at the front or the back? I wanna sit in the middle because I feel like this is where I'll get a real good view. Close enough to make sure that I can see if any funny business is happening, but far enough back that I can escape. Quickly, if I need to. Do you think that Rick is right to be scared? If you're a little scared too, put a scared face emoji in the comment section and, um, oh, it looks like the show's starting. Who is this? Oh, wow, they've got a fancy outfit. Oh, it's Toby. Toby says, hey. Hey, Toby. Oh, I'm like, look, it's Toby. Oh, we love Toby. Toby, come and take a seat with us. Toby's so cool. I wonder if Toby's gonna sit next to me. Toby's like, okay, where's he gonna sit? Just come over and sit with us, Toby. Oh, sitting right behind us, wow. Rick's like, you came at the right time. It's about to start. Sure, Rick, now that Toby's here, you're pretending that you weren't scared. Toby's like, so, is this the show? Yes, this is the show, and I think it's gonna be fantastic. Uh-oh, Toby's like, we need to be careful. If Rick's theory is right, then, wait a second, what's Rick's theory? Okay, it's a little bit too late to find out what Rick's theory is because the show is already starting. I'm like, it's starting. Oh, they've got an advert before the show. It's for Starcode Cunicorn. That sounds like something I wanna use. <gasps> Who's this? There's somebody up on the stage. Oh, wow. <laughs> I like their outfit. This looks like a magic show. Wow. Okay, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Harry. A nice deep bow from Harry. I will do some tricks for you tonight. Harry's got pretty shiny teeth and a lifetime of media consumption has taught me that maybe that means he's not trustworthy. Harry wants to know, is everyone prepared? Rick's like, I think so, but really, Rick is really scared. Rick is so scared that I actually saw that he brought a couple of extra pairs of pants to the show, which is nice, it's good to be prepared. Harry's like, let's start. All right, Harry, let's start the show. What will Harry's first trick be? Ooh, how about some fireworks? Okay, watch out with the, oh my gosh, ouch! Hey, that hit me in the head. That hurt, that's really dangerous. Oh, Toby's like, wow, thanks a lot, Toby. I've just been hitting the head with a firework and yes, obviously, it's a beautiful display. Do I feel like I'm at Disneyland? Yes, but that doesn't change the fact that I've been hit in the head with a firework. Oh, cutie Zane's like, that was beautiful. Harry's like, wasn't it? No one's going to address the fact that he shot a firework into my head. Okay, that's fine. Harry's like, but I'm just starting. Okay, Harry, what's your next trick? He says, for my next trick, I will need a voluntary volunteer. Try to avoid eye contact. If I avoid eye contact, maybe they won't see me. Oh no, how about you, Kawaii Cunicorn? Oh no, how do you know my name? That's a bit, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Harry's like, well, I am a magician. Maybe my name was on the ticket. Harry wants me to come up on stage, but I feel really nervous about going up on stage. It's like one thing for me to make videos here on the internet, but it's a completely different thing to be on stage. Uh oh. Harry's like, now go into that box. Really, that dark box? That dark, scary box? Well, okay. Oh, okay, now we're in the box. Harry's like, good. Now I will make you disappear. Um, okay. Everyone look. Okay, am I gonna be disappeared? Am I disappeared? <gasps> I'm gone. Wait, where am I? I'm still here, I'm somewhere. Harry's like, that's amazing. Your friend was teleported to the other box. Was I? I don't know, it just looks to me like I'm still inside a box. A little bit difficult for me to tell. But I guess you're the expert, and I, wait a second. I'm not in the other box. Where am I? I'm in some sort of box. Um, Rick's like, our friend is not there. Thanks for noticing, Rick. Where am I? I've, I think I'm trapped inside this box. Okay, this is starting to get a little bit alarming. Harry's like, oops. Looks like it didn't work. Harry, you're supposed to know how this works. I trusted you, Harry, and you made me disappear it. Uh-oh, Toby's like, you were right, Rick. He is evil. Give us our friend back or we will fight you. Okay, I, guys, I'm just in a box. Evil, evil. Harry's like, calm down, calm down, everyone. Okay, well, I can't calm down. I've disappeared. I'm in some sort of box-like void. Harry's like, I'm just kidding. What do you mean you're just kidding? Your friend is right there. <gasps> it's me. Here I am. 
Wow, I really was teleported. I didn't even feel a thing. Rick's like, oh, sorry. Yeah, Rick, you were actually pretty quick to accuse Harry the Magician of being evil. Harry's like, haha, no problem. It's all part of a day's work when you're a magician. See, when you're doing magic, sometimes people will think that you're evil. Harry needs another volunteer. Now that you've all seen that he can teleport people, are you feeling a little nervous about volunteering? Wait a second. Again? You want me to volunteer again? Yes. You are a good voluntary. Oof, all right. I shouldn't have done such a good job of being teleported last time because now it looks like I'm going to have to be up on stage the whole time. I kind of just wanted to relax and enjoy the show, um, but it looks like I'm part of the show now. All right. Harry says, have you ever wanted to fly? Well, I'm glad you asked. I do have this reoccurring dream where I'm a pigeon. Um, oh, Harry's like, well, today you will. What, become a pigeon? Wait, really? Are, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, I'm flying. How am I supposed to control this? How am I supposed to get down? Whoa, Rick's like, you're flying. Yeah, Rick, I'm really flying right now. Harry's like, awesome, right? I mean, it is pretty awesome, Harry, but I'm, I'm starting to I'm starting to get a little, uh, yeah, but, uh, but I'm getting tired. Can you stop it now? Uh, sure. Okay, I hope I don't get stuck up there. Come on, Harry, let me down. Let me down. I'm twirling. That's not the same. Uh, why am I spinning? I'm starting to get dizzy. Do you, is anyone else getting a little bit of a sore stomach? Harry! Uh, oh, just hold on for a sec. I will fix it. Oh, no! I'm, I'm gonna explode! Help! Help! Please! Someone help me! Harry, please! Harry's like, uh, don't worry. It's all under control. It doesn't feel like it's under control. I feel like my head is going to explode. Make it stop. Make it stop, please. Harry's like, I will! Faster, Harry! Please! Rick's like, don't worry, Quack Unicorn! Easy for you to say, Rick! We will help me! Oh, wait a second. Where am I? What happened? Where did everybody go? Oh my gosh, what a... What's going on? Oh, this is scary! Rick! Rick, where are you? Cutie Zane? Anyone? Help! This is so creepy, I don't know what to do. I wish my friends were here. Oh my gosh, thank goodness, there they are! Wait, what just happened? Rick's like, it worked. You're back. Harry's like, as I said before, everything's under control. You can go back to your seat. Wow. Did I just imagine that? Harry's like, so, I know you guys are enjoying the show. Uh, yeah, Harry, I was enjoying the show until that weird thing just happened. Oh, Harry's like, however, I just have one more trick. But you've only performed two tricks. Don't worry, this last one will be big. Oh, okay, I don't find that super comforting. Was he laughing? That sounded like a bit of an evil laugh. Are you okay, Harry? Harry, you okay? Harry? Harry, what's going on? I feel like something weird is happening. Yes. Ha 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 ha. After so many years. Harry's upside down. It's a bit scary upside down. I could finally finish my show. What does it mean? Even though... Those that I wanted to be here couldn't make it today. Oh, well, we're here. We're here to support you, Harry. Wait, what's going on? I will get my revenge on this city. Look, none of us are actually from here. Um, we're actually out of towners. Wait, what's happening? What's that spinning void? The true show starts now. Oh, no, not these guys. Rick, I'm sorry to say it, but you were right. He's evil. Something weird is happening. Rick's like, it was not a good idea coming here. I know, we should have gone to the arcade. Or maybe skating. We could have gone bowling. Welcome to the magic show. Wow. So the show's just beginning, eh? Friday the 13th, 2 p.m. Looks like we're going to find out what happened earlier that day. Ten hours until the show. Wow, love a flashback. Hey, it's me, and I'm in a beautiful park. Wow, this is much better. And Freddy's Pizzeria. Hey, come on. Someone's left some paper here on the fountain. Oh, wow, an interactive object. Click on marked objects to interact with them. What a handy tip. Oh, man, Frick is late, but on the upside, looks like we've got a cute little dog. Maybe I should follow it. Is it heading into Freddy's Pizzeria? Well, I need to wait for him, and I'm starting to get pretty hungry. Guess I'll explore this place while I wait for Rick. We've got a <laughs> little rubber ducky. <laughs> I like how the dog is just kind of like running around in the background, and um, maybe also levitating. That's cool. Hey, what's this? Missing. 
Emma Carter. How strange! Emma Carter is missing. She looks like she's about my age. Wonder if this person at the lemonade stand knows anything about it. Hmm, could get a glass of lemonade. But then why get lemonade when I could get a piece of delicious barbecue cauliflower pizza from Freddy's Pizza? I don't know what to do. Is Rick gonna show up sometime soon? Oh, here comes the school bus. Maybe Rick is on there. Hey, look, it's Rick. Rick, I'm so glad you're here. So, how was school? Did you have a good day? We could get some pizza or some lemonade. Rick's like, hello. Hey, Rick. Are you hungry? Are you more of a, like, after-school sushi kind of guy? Oh, Rick says, I'm a bit late. Oh, that's all right. What happened? What happened to you? What made you late? School bus was late. You were late. Did something strange happen? I couldn't sleep well because of how excited I was for today. <gasps> I'm also excited. I don't know what we're excited about. Oh, so you know, that's why I woke up a bit late. Oh, well, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Next time Rick's late, I might just go hang out on Cunicorn Islands because it's a fun place to hang out with your pals. All right, so today we will watch scary movies in the forest, right? Oh, is that is that really our plan? Rick's like, yes, it's Friday the 13th, which everybody knows is the spookiest day of the year. And there's nothing scarier than watching movies in a forest on Friday the 13th. Yeah, that does sound pretty scary. But apparently, I think that that will be so cool. Rick's like, yes, haha. <laughs> If anyone has a really scary Friday the 13th story to share, please put it in the comment section. But first of all, we need to prepare everything. So, um, what do we need to do? What are we preparing exactly? We do need to buy groceries. Yeah, that's a good idea. So let's go to the market. Um, okay, so we need some groceries for our trip to the forest. Um, maybe snacks for the movies. We could have popcorn. We could get some chippies. Maybe some fruit. Rick's like, this is strange. These missing people posters are everywhere. Wait, is that another person? Oh, whoa, missing Robin Williams. This is a pretty small town. Having two missing people, pretty scary. Don't worry, Rick, we'll be fine. I mean, for starters, I just found some money on a bench, which is pretty nice. Rick's like, yeah, that's true. I mean, we can protect ourselves. And that dog? What if the dog knows something? What if it knows something that we don't? Okay, um, right, you're right. Um, off to the market. Let's head on in. Let's go, says Rick. Is it here? All right, Rick, it's time to pick some snacks. Nothing can break my mood, except for maybe that missing poster on the wall. We'll just ignore the missing poster for now. Oh my gosh, what? Um, okay, looks like the market employee also had a bit of a late night, and they're catching up on some sleep. <laughs> Rick's like, sir. Are you sleeping? I mean, I mean, maybe let's let's just let him sleep. We haven't even picked our snacks yet. We'll go pick our snacks, and then once we get to the front of the counter, maybe they can wake up and... Oh, Rick's not gonna wait. He's like, sir? Oh, come on, Rick, let them sleep. Oh, this poor person. Oh, their name is James. They're like, huh, I was just taking a nap. Ha <laughs> ha. Little power nap for James. Um, everything got so boring after Robin disappeared. Oh my gosh, they're friends with Robin Williams. Isn't Robin the guy from the missing poster? Yeah, there's a poster of them right there. Yes, he used to work here with me. Oh my gosh, James, I am so sorry. That must be so stressful. Without his help, the store got a bit messy. I don't know, I mean, it looks pretty good to me. So it can be a bit difficult to find whatever it is that you guys are looking for. Okay, no worries. James, your friend is missing. We're not gonna get bent out of shape just because the store is a little bit messy, you know? Rick's like, so listen here. I have a list of items. We need to find them all. Amazing organization, Rick. Rick, this is why we keep you around. All right, all right. It's time to find all the items on the list. Since you've done such a great job of organizing, I'd like to treat you to this shop. Okay, so it looks like first we gotta find seven Bloxy Colas. I wonder if that means that there are five more friends coming with us to the magic show. Actually, we have seen the magic show lay later on, so I guess we, maybe we all need two. And then uh, maybe one for James, because, you know, he's had a bit of a rough time lately. Ooh, a bit of cash. Sorry, I'll take that. Sorry, James. Oh, more cash. Wow, there's lots of cash lying around. Okay, let's find these Bloxy Colas. It's almost all of them. Just two more Bloxy Colas and a little bit more cash. Did I check this aisle already? Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong, James. It is actually pretty hard to find stuff. Uh, that's all right. There's got to be two more here somewhere. And also, I found heaps of money in your store. Oh, there's one. 
One more. Gotta check the corners. Anything up here? And over here? Right behind you, maybe? Hmm. Where is my last Bloxy Cola? If you see it, let me know in the comment section. Surely it's gotta be here somewhere. Um, Rick, maybe you can help me out a little. Ooh, I found a key. I wonder if that'll come in handy later. <gasps> there it is. Yes, all right, we have found the Bloxy Colas. Rick's like, very good. Rick, um, I guess Rick's on organization. Now find the chocolates. Oh, I saw one of them over here. Oh, five chocolates. I definitely haven't seen five chocolates. That's right, we'll find it. There's number four and number five. All right, what's next on the list? Very good job, says Rick. Ooh, we could take a baseball bat. That might come in handy. <laughs> oh no, I'm like, you could have helped me. <laughs> I am paying for it. Oh no, 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 I said I would pay. Uh, so I am already doing my part. No, I'm, I'm really happy to pay. You have a point. Okay, I guess we're gonna let Rick treat me. Oh, there's one more item I could buy, a flashlight. That seems like it could come in handy. I'm gonna buy that flashlight. James is like, so that's all? Yeah, I think that's gonna be everything for us today. We've got all our Bloxy Colas. Um, we've got our chocolate bars. Um, I got my flashlight. James is like, just a question. Are you guys going somewhere today? Yeah, actually, um, we'll be in the forest watching movies, scary movies, because it's Friday the 13th. James is like, so I recommend buying some of these baseball bats. You never know what could happen in the forest. Hmm, what do you think, Rick? Should we buy some of these baseball bats? Does seem like a pretty good idea. Rick's like, we'll take it. After all, you never can be too careful. What if we get to the forest and we want to play a game of baseball? All right, Rick, shopping's done. What's next? Rick says, good. Now we just have one more thing to do. Is it catching that silly dog that's running around? Oh my gosh, look. Nope, Rick's like, buy pizza. Okay, I found some more money, so that's pretty good. That sounds good. Let's order some pizza. Then we've got everything we need. We've got chocolate. We've got Bloxy Cola. And then we've got hot steaming pizzas. All right, let's head over, head over to the pizzeria. Come on, Rick. Don't be, don't be shy. We're heading over to Freddy's. Freddy makes the best pizza in town. At least that's what I've heard. Oh, whoa, this place is kind of a dump. Wow, it's really messy. Rick says, hello, sir. Rick is very formal. We would like to order some pizza. Wow, the place isn't much to look at. Freddy's like, finally, some clients. <gasps> it's Freddy himself. Hello and welcome to my pizzeria. Freddy, I did not expect you to be here. Looks like we are your first clients. Does it though? Freddy's like, no, actually, that guy right over there is the first one. Oh, he's reading the menu. Oh, sorry about that. Um, so, what will it be? Well, what are the choices? Have we, is there a menu that we could look at maybe? Or maybe Rick, maybe Rick knows what he wants. We'd like two pepperoni pizzas. Yum. If any of you watching this are gonna come to the forest with us tonight, you can always leave your pizza order in the comment section. I'll add it on. Um, Freddy's like, got it. Anything else? I think that's all. All right, Freddy, how much is it gonna be? Freddy's like, that'll be, oh wow, $50. I've only got $22. Oh, Rick, are you gonna cover this as well? Or, um, oh, I think Rick's paying. All good. Wait, does Rick look a little angry? <laughs> oh, guys, you didn't lose your wallet, did you? I spent the rest of my money on the baseball bats? Okay, I've got $22, Rick, how much have you got? Sir, is there anything else that we can do to get these pizzas? <laughs> oh my gosh, are we gonna end up working in the pizza shop? So you don't have any money. Oh, Freddy's not impressed. Uh, no, no, well, I do have $22. Uh, Freddy's like, well, actually there is something that you and your friends could do. As you can see, the restaurant is uh, quite a lot of mess. Clean it for me and I'll give you the pizzas. That actually sounds like a pretty good deal. I mean, $50 just to do a bit of cleaning. Rick's like, sure, let's do it. All uh, right, and it will be pretty satisfying to clean up, clean up some of this stuff. Oh, wow. The last people who were here in the pizzeria were really messy. I actually cannot believe this, um, but that's all right. We will do a nice quick job. Is Rick helping? I feel like I'm doing all the heavy lifting here. That's all right. Um, I actually kind of like cleaning, so. Let's get all these Bloxy Colas. Oh, Freddy's like, you did it. Oh my gosh, I like didn't even finish. I did like half the room. <gasps> a good job, Freddy. Well, thank you. Um, Here are the pizzas. Thank you so much. 
I'm actually a little bit embarrassed. Like, I really just didn't even do that good a job. Rick's like, thanks. All right, Rick, let's get out of here before he notices all of the uh, all of the mess that's still left. Freddy's like, welcome back anytime. Well, thank you very much, Freddy. These pizzas smell delicious. Oh, <laughs> but with money. Okay, sure. <laughs> of course. Friday the 13th, 4 p.m. A belly full of pizza. Oh, no, wait. Eight hours until the show. All right, Rick, I think we've got everything we need. We've got our Bloxy Cola. We've got our chocolates. We've got our pizzas. Rick says, we're done. So now we can go to the forest and... And what? Rick? Is everything okay? Hey, Rick. What's happening over there? (gasps) What is happening over there? Toby, as I said, I don't have any money. Uh Uh-oh. Well, the bully doesn't want to hear that. The bully says, we know that you have. We know that you do have money, actually, Toby. Don't lie to us. You know what happens when you lie to us, Toby. Oh, no. We need to help him. Quick. I don't want to just be a bystander. Maybe if we go over there, we can stop them from bullying him. Rick says, true. Let's get over there. Come on, Rick. We got to get over there. Quickly. We need to intervene in this bullying situation. Hey, you two. Stop bothering him. Yeah, that's right. You need to stop that right now. So come and stop us. I hate it when people are bullying. All right, guys, use your baseball bats. Oh my gosh, (laughs) things just got really serious. Am I gonna actually, oh yeah, I've taken up my baseball bat. Oh my gosh, I think I'm, I think I'm beating the bullies. Am I the bully now? Okay, you know what? They were gonna, they were intimidating my friend Toby and they were demanding money. And apparently this is what I have to do. Rick's really not helping, is he? All right, I've got to take on two bullies single-handedly. And look, they're, they're hitting me. All right, well, I'll get them with my bat. Looks like this bully is about to, oh, I think I, <laughs> bully number two is defeated by me. I think I might've broken their legs. Okay, there we go. You're welcome, Toby. Didn't know I was going to be getting into a fight today. Oh, that bully looks really sad. I'm really sorry about breaking your legs and everything. Bully number one is like, ugh, we will be back. Oh, I mean, you know, you could also just learn your lesson. Maybe it's not a nice idea to demand money from people. There's lots of, I probably shouldn't have hit you with a baseball bat. There's lots of lessons that both of us can learn. Um, but let's make sure that Toby's okay. Toby's like, they finally left me alone. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, no no problem. You're welcome. Rick's like, who were those guys? And why were they bothering you? Uh, Rick, they're just, they're bullies. There's not any reason necessarily that they're bullying Toby. They're just bullies. Toby's like, they're from my school and they've always treated me that way every day. Oh, that's horrible. But anyways, my name is Toby. Wow, is this the first time we're meeting Toby? Rick's like, my name is Rick and these are my friends. It's just me, Rick. (laughs) Hello, says I. My name is Holly. Toby's like, it's nice to meet you all. (laughs) But now I need to continue searching for clues. (gasps) Searching for clues? What kind of clues are you searching for? Clues? What happened? This doesn't have anything to do with those missing kids, does it? Toby's like, the girl from the missing posters. Her name is Emma Carter. She is my sister. I'll be going to the library to find past cases of missing persons. Oh my gosh, Toby, that's your sister. (gasps) Hopefully, it'll help me know where to start searching, because I am feeling kind of lost right now. Oh my gosh, Toby, you have had such a horrible day. Hey, Rick, we should help him. It is Friday the 13th, after all, a most sacred day. Rick's like, hmm, yes, after all, we are finished with our tasks. Yeah, we finished all of our tasks, and we don't have to go into the forest until much later. Toby's like, wow, I appreciate it. No problem. Let's go to the library. Um, I love going to the library. Plus, it seems like everybody in this town has lost someone. Toby has lost his sister. Our our mate in the in the marketplace there lost his coworker. This town has experienced a lot of loss. And wow, look at the library. This place is amazing. Rick's like, here we are. Okay, so we need to look for clues. The librarian's like, shh. This is a library. I'm sorry. I can sometimes be quite loud. Rick looks so embarrassed. He's like, sorry. Librarian's like, whatever. Just be quiet. Oh my gosh, I already forgot. I'm sorry. I'll try to be quiet. Okay. Toby's like, let's find a book about the missing people. 
Okay, um, let's just have a look over here. Over here where I can talk normally and uh, not get yelled at by the librarian. So might as well just have a look on this shelf here. Not quite sure what we're looking for. I didn't know that there were published books about missing people, but there's definitely something weird going on in this town. I wonder if it has anything to do with that magician. Hmm, there's definitely something weird happening here. Okay, nothing down here. We better head upstairs. I feel like it might help if I at least knew what the book was called. Not just like, missing person book. Maybe we can look it up on the computer. Would that be a little bit easier? Excuse me, have you got a computer to- Oh, wait a second. I found the book. What does it say, Toby? What were you looking for? Toby's like, okay, let's take a look into the past. Rick's like, look at this one. Look this what? Harry Winston. A 13-year-old kid that disappeared in 1999. Hmm, that does look interesting. Wait a second, Harry Winston. Does that name sound familiar? Toby's like, he disappeared in a florist near here. Wait, this is the place where we are going to be watching movies. Was it a florist or a forest? Did he disappear at the flower shop? Wait, no, Toby's like, will you guys still be going to the forest? Yeah. We have everything prepared. We bought our tickets, our chocolate, our baseball bats. Toby's like, you guys have to be careful because my sister disappeared at that exact place. Wait, what was she doing there? Why was your sister in the forest or the florist? Toby's like, she was in a picnic with her friend Robin. This is getting strange. Let's continue examining this book. Okay, I just want to... I swear I've heard the name Harry Winston before. If you recognize that name, let me know in the comment section. It's 9 p.m. I think that means it's dark and scary. Three hours till the show. Not me just standing in the dark staring at a wall. Okay, Rick's like, we spent a long time searching for clues. We sure did, but did we find any important clues? I don't know, a time lapse happened and I'm not sure what happened. Toby's like, yeah, I want to find my sister. We wish you good luck, Toby. I think you're going to find her. I'm glad we could help you out, and if you want to come to the movies with us later, you'd be totally welcome to. Toby's like, thanks. Hey, what is that over there? Oh, no, the bullies aren't back, are they? Let's see, what is that over there? Oh, wow, magic show? Friday the 13th at midnight? A magic show in the forest? There are posters all over the place. Wow, somebody's been busy postering the whole area while we've been in the library. Uh oh, Rick has a theory. Rick, what's your theory? What if this magic show has some sort of relationship to the missing people? Wow, we should investigate. You could be right, Rick. It is pretty strange to have a magic show at midnight in the middle of the forest. Uh, Toby's like, I have to go home first, but don't worry about me. I'll be there in time. Cool, okay, so Toby is going to come with us tonight to the forest. All right, let's try to find the place. We'll be seeing you there, Toby. So we're still going, eh? It's gonna be a little scary. Looks like we're jumping ahead in time again. <gasps> Saturday the 14th, 12, 10 a.m. Okay, I think we're heading back 10 minutes after the show. I think this is where we just left off. Oh no, yeah, it was not a good idea to come here and it's raining and I forgot about those aliens. Hey, that's where I know Harry. Harry's like, well, you guys can stay here and deal with my monsters. Harry, are you the missing child? I have something to do in the city. Good thing I brought my bat. Oh, he's disappearing. I think he's, yeah, no, he's totally disappeared. Okay, watch out, monsters. Rick's like, oh no, this is bad. Get your bat out, Toby. Let's get to the city. We have to stop Harry. Okay. Okay, am I the only one who's gonna be doing any batting? Toby's like, okay, we gotta get to the city. You have to stay here and stop the monsters. I know that you can do it. Okay, no problem, I'm on monster duty. You guys run ahead, you stop Harry. I'm ready for these monsters. All right, I need to do my best and my best is all I can do. Oh my gosh, here they come. <laughs> ah! No, they're attacking me. Oh no, my, my, my health is going down. I didn't even start with perfect health because of my, my skirmish earlier with the bullies. But that's okay, I can do this. I just gotta do my best. Take that monster and that and this. So glad I brought my bat. Maybe I'll get them with the flashlight later. <gasps> I think I, I, I defeated monster number two. Okay, we just gotta get this other monster. 
One more and yes! I have defeated the monsters! What next? Is Harry gonna come back? Oh, wait a second. No, not more monsters! They are immortal! I need to run. I need to run and find Rick! Okay, oh, just get a head start here. Let's start running! Oh no, is that the bullies? Okay, just because they're bullies doesn't mean that I shouldn't warn them about the monsters. Uh, the rain just stopped. Whoa, that's really weird. Anyway, where are Toby and Rick? Okay, I know that you guys are bullies and I know that you were threatening my friends, but the monsters will be here soon. So you might want to make yourself scarce. Uh oh, bully one's like, hello again. We found you. Oh, I don't have time for this. There's monsters chasing me. There's, pi oh, and now we have baseball bats too. Uh, look. We don't have to fight. Um, there's actually some monsters coming, so it's kind of a good thing that you guys have baseball bats. Bully One's like, wait, what is that? Those are monsters. They're chasing us. They're monsters. They're kind of immortal. Yeah, monsters. That's right. So really good that you've got your baseball bat. No way. This can't be real. They look really scared. <laughs> Forget about it. I want my mom. Hey, come back here. Uh... Looks like the monsters reached me. Oh, oh no, who's that? Is that Harry? Oh, and it's Harry. Harry, look, you don't have to do this. Harry's like, hello again. Looks like my monsters weren't enough. Yeah, I actually beat them. Wait, where's Rick and Toby? What did you do with them? I hope they didn't turn them into monsters. I captured them. Soon, they'll become my monsters. Oh. Don't, don't do it, Harry, I won't let you. I won't let you do that. Harry doesn't want to hear it. He's like, ha 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 ha. Oh no, Harry's like, you can try. He's like taunting me. Well, here I go again. Just me and my baseball bat. Oh, all right, so now you're just gonna disappear. Disappear and let your monsters do your dirty work? Oh, whoa, dramatic music happening. Oh, whoa, what is going on? Oh my gosh. Harry, oh, he's turning himself into a cannonball. This is scary. Okay, if I just keep jumping, maybe I can get him. Oh no, ah! oh no, what are those noises? Oh my gosh, there's all sorts of weird stuff happening. Spikes coming out of the ground. Okay, just gotta, just gotta stay away from those spikes. It looks like the ground turns red before it becomes a spike. Take that, Harry, take that. We need to find out what happened to Harry. What happened to you? You disappeared as a child. Did the monsters take you? What happened? We can fix this, you know. You and I, we can fix this together. Okay, back to a cannonball. That's cool. Oh my gosh. Quick, attack Harry while he's charging his powers. <gasps> Get him. Get him. Just keep smacking him with the baseball bat. Smack some sense into him. Harry, it doesn't have to be this way. One eternity later. Harry, I don't want to fight anymore. Harry's like, I think it's time for this to get faster. Okay, that might be good, actually, because it's been incredibly slow. Okay, big cannonballs. <laughs> he loves his cannonballs, our Harry. Okay, and um, getting his spikies in the ground. I just got to attack him again. I just got to get him. I want this to be over. I want to find my friends and the missing kids. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So many spikes. Okay, get Harry while he's, while he's recharging his powers. Come on, just a few more hits. Just a few more hits. We can do it. Oh, there it goes. So you think that you can defeat me? Uh, yeah. Obviously I do. Very funny. It's not funny. <laughs> it's not. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Ah! <laughs> you don't even know what I've been through. Harry, I want to listen. I want to listen to you. I want to hear all about it. To be excluded from the others. Was he picked on? Maybe he got bullied by those kids. To be judged for nothing. Don't know what you mean there. Harry, just let me help you. To be left to die. I never would have left you to die. I want to help you. I know it doesn't seem like I want to help you because I keep hitting you in the head with a baseball bat, but that's mostly because you are um, attacking me with monsters. You have no idea how it is. No one knows. Oh man, Harry's feeling really misunderstood. Could try to knock some of that out of him. Oh, uh oh, oh no, oh no. Oh my gosh, okay, I gotta get out of the way. Okay, there's all sorts of stuff falling from the sky. Man, 
Harry is having a really bad week. Um, but on the upside, I guess he's a pretty good magician. This is all pretty impressive. Nice career in the magic world waiting for you. Um, if you don't go to jail forever for um, trying to kill me with your monsters. Uh, Harry's like, ugh. Oh, sorry, I'll stop. I'll stop hitting you for just a second. I used all of my powers. Give me my friends back. Give them to me. Show me where they are. I don't want them to turn into monsters. Harry's like, never. Did all. Uh, should we fight again? Oh, I'm getting kind of tired of fighting. I don't have a choice. Harry, you always have a choice. Why was I holding a pizza there for a second? <laughs> what just happened? <gasps> Rick, Rick, Toby. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you're here. I was in a dark place, says Toby. Toby, you're safe now. It was, uh, don't, just, just forget about the dark place. Wait, Harry is here. That's right, Rick. And don't worry, he has been defeated. Whoa, has he? <laughs> now, can you explain why you're trying to capture us? I need to know. Harry looks so sad. Harry, just tell us the truth. In 1999, I found a book in the forest. Ooh, heading back to the past. But it wasn't a normal book. Ooh, what kind of book was it? Maybe like a graphic novel? Oh no, it was a book about black magic. As a kid, I always wanted to be a magician. Harry, you can still be a magician. And with that book, I could learn tricks that no one had ever done. Maybe no one had done them before because they were evil and dangerous. Harry's like, it was my chance to become a successful magician and follow my dream. Everyone liked my tricks, and I was almost becoming famous in this town. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool, but, well, almost everyone. <gasps> Does this have something to do with the, with the disappearing kids? But then some guys from my school decided that I was a dangerous person with dangerous powers. I mean, they, they weren't wrong, were they, Harry? They bullied him every day at school. But one day, they decided to go further. What do you mean they decided to go further? What did they do? They invited me into the forest to show my tricks to them. What happened there? They wouldn't stop bothering me as long as I could put on a good show. Oh, wow. That's a lot of pressure. But that didn't happen. They left me in a hole of the forest to die. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. As you can see, I am alive. Yeah. So what, did the like monsters pull you out or? Oh no, that's because I tried a forbidden spell from my book. And with that, I suddenly arrived at this dark place where I spent most of my days. For some reason, I could come back. And after so many years, I am here seeking revenge. But I failed. Wait, why are you taking all of this out on us? So you plan to turn everyone into a monster and seek revenge? What if you just found those bullies? They probably actually feel really bad about it. They're probably like, I don't know, like grown-ups now, and they feel really embarrassed. Toby's like, wait a minute. So the monsters we saw before are my sister and Robin? Wait a second. I feel like I kind of missed something. How did you know that the monsters are the sister? I don't really get it. Rick's like, look, Harry. We know that it wasn't easy for you. Yeah, let's empathize with him. We know that it wasn't easy. But seeking revenge will only hurt you more. And also, what does what does Toby's sister have to do with anything? Was she the bully? A lot of time has passed, and it's time to move forward. We can be your friends and help you, says Rick. Right. Harry's like, no! You are right, but... But... I wasn't even supposed to be here. This is all getting a little bit confusing. Thanks a lot! But everything ends here. Look, it doesn't... It doesn't have to end like this. That book needs to be destroyed. Oh, oh, okay. Actually, that's, that's actually a pretty good idea. And I need to go. I mean, this is kind of your home, bud. You could stay here. I appreciate your words. But this is the end for me. And that book, I will give you your sister back. Oh my gosh, amazing result. Oh, look, there she is. Oh. It's Toby's sister and, and James's co-worker. Toby's like, Emma, you're back. I wonder how long Emma's been missing for. Emma's like, huh? What happened? Oh, good. She doesn't remember anything. Robin's like, I saw a magician in the forest and then I went to a dark place. 
Hmm. <laughs> we don't like the dark place, do we? Robin's like, I'm confused. Don't worry, Robin. We're going to get you back into the loving arms of your colleague. Toby's like, it's a long story. Maybe Harry can explain it to you. Wait, where is Harry? Where did Harry go? He said he was going to destroy that book. Rick's like, well, anyway, he won't be a problem now. <sighs> Rick, I'm just not that sure about that. Robin's like, I still don't understand. And I got to say, I agree with Robin. Rick's like, you will soon. Rick is very confident that we're going to understand, but I'm not sure. Toby says yes, but for now, let's take a break. Oh my gosh, what about our pizza? What's happening up there? Is that fireworks? <gasps> Whoa, fireworks. They're beautiful. Who cares if I don't really understand what just happened? We've got fireworks. And our story begins where I hoped it would, in a dark, creepy forest next to a bonfire. It's 11 p.m. And I think that this is our friend Harry, the magician from Magic Show Number 1. But what has he been up to? I hope that we're about to find out. Harry says, the book was burned. It's over. He burned the book of magic spells. He says, I can't believe that I am finally free. He, you were in that forest for a really long time. Maybe I should find my family now. Oh my gosh, your family. They'll probably be so excited to see you. I really want to see my mom. And I'm sure that she wants to see you too, Harry. And my brothers. Oh my gosh, they're going to be all grown up now. It's been like 20 years. Uh, what is happening? Something weird is going on with the fire. Harry? <gasps> Just went dark. Harry, you're good, bud. You all good? Oh, happy music. Ba -da 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 -ba -ba. Ooh, okay, it's daytime and something new is happening. Why did we exit the forest? Ooh, it's 10 a.m. Cool. Is this like the next day, day before? Are we going in a little flashback? Ooh, not quite sure what's happening, but looks like we've got a few new characters. Who have we got here? We will be back in three days, says Mom. Mom looks pretty cool in her jean jacket there. Uh, don't forget to feed Larry, take care of the house, and eat... Eat what? Just eat generally? Take care of the house and eat. Oh, it's me! We know we're not kids anymore. I'm actually super mature, and I am very, very happy to feed Larry and look after the house. Dad says, also, be careful. Don't let strangers enter the house. Mom says, goodbye, sweeties. Bye, Mom. Enjoy your trip, and don't worry about anything. Goodbye. Have a nice trip. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that I am going to be home alone. I am in charge of the entire house for the entire weekend. And that means we are having cookie dough for breakfast, cookie dough for lunch, and cookie dough for dinner. Actually, that'll probably make me sick. Uh, okay, maybe I will have to rethink some of the responsibility and power I have as um, the person in charge of the house this week. Oh, wow, I've already got my friends over. <laughs> All right, having a little bit of a party. Oh, there we go. There's Larry. <laughs> Mom and dad went on a trip. Oh, it's just Larry. That means we are free for three days. Oh my gosh, maybe these are my siblings. I have a huge family. I like, I would just keep saying at the bottom, it's just Larry. It's like, it's not just Larry. Larry is not just a fish. He's part of the family. Wow, I wonder what's in here. Oh, need a key to open that. Just doing a small explore of the house. Lots of cool things for me to check out here. Oh wow, I just found some cash and some cheese. Wow, I like how there's so many things in this game that you can interact with. That's pretty cool. Preheat the oven, maybe. Oh, nope, that looks like fire. Um, Can we turn that off, maybe? Yeah, I don't think mom and dad would like it if I burned down the house like 10 minutes after they left for the airport. That would be a bit awkward. All right, it looks like we got... Oh, it's like a dormitory up here. <gasps> and I found some old cash. Don't know why I'm finding so much cash all over the house. Maybe I'll save up this cash and then I can buy a special treat for all of my siblings. Let me know in the comment section what kind of treaty I should buy for everyone with all of my cash. What do we got on the TV? Oh, the news. Sorry, not to buy, but let's check out something else. Like this picture of a mallard. Ooh, or this workbench where I can make crafts. Oh my gosh, it's like a crafting table. <gasps> okay, that's a bit cool. Maybe I can make a key. Oh, look, it's some of my friends. It is my friend Emily, and she's saying hello to me. Hello, my friend. I am glad that you are here with me for magic story number two, because my gosh, I think that things are going to get pretty hairy pretty soon, and we're going to have to stick together. So, so glad that you are here. Um, and anyone noticed that there is a key fragment just here in the corner? Perhaps we should take it. 
Love that my buds are kind of wearing matching outfits. Super cute. I love your outfits. You look so great. I think I just need to find one more key fragment and then we'll be able to craft ourselves a key and open the basement, which is pretty exciting. Oh, Lila says, it's getting late. What about we play soccer? Ooh, that does sound like a good idea. Let's play something before the sun goes down. This game of soccer is brought to you by my star code, Cunicorn, which you can use when you're purchasing Robux if you want to support my channel. And now back to the game. Wait a second, is the game over already? I thought we were just starting. Oh, oh. I don't know if this is halftime or if that was just the world's shortest game of soccer, but I guess the sun is almost going down and mom and dad always like it if we can be home before the streetlights go on. So maybe we should start heading back to the house. Although, looks like a little toy store is open and what's with this manhole cover? I can't open it. Maybe I should use a crowbar. Hmm, that is interesting. Oh, should I really be collecting cash off the <laughs> counter at this store? Um, hmm, okay. Um, Lila says, it's getting late. Yeah, that's right, Lila. We should probably think about heading home. Back at the old homestead, Amiro says, looks like there's a magic show outside. Oh my gosh, a magic show? Lila's like, we should definitely go there. I mean, if there's a magic show happening right outside your house, it's like, how can I resist? <gasps> Look at this, how convenient. A stage set up right across the road and chairs for all of us? Oh my gosh, what kind of magic will unfold here? I'm sure that nothing could go wrong at this magic show. That has not historically been the case. Oh, a full moon set in the scene. Little bit spooky. Okay, where is our magician? It is time for a dramatic entrance. Harry, where are you? Oh, there he is up on stage. It's our boy. Okay, so um, I hope this time he's not up to anything evil. Oh, he's got a little smirk on his face. Don't know about that. Oh, that's not Harry at all. It's Ethan. Ethan's like, welcome everyone to the best magic show of your lives. My name is Ethan and I am the best magician in this city. Hmm, I don't think that Harry's gonna like that. Can I have some applauses? Ethan, my guy, you haven't done anything yet. Yeah, crickets. Oh my gosh, did someone just leave the server? <laughs> oh, now we've gone and done it. Ethan looks pretty mad. Oh, he's like, ugh, whatever. It's like, bud, just start the show, you know? Let's start the show. There we go, he's got a happy little smile back on his face. He says, what about some fireworks? I mean, it's cool. I don't know if I would call it magic exactly, but... Yeah, I mean, summoning fireworks from behind you. I guess that's a bit cool, but I don't know. I feel like that could be non-magic. I don't think it really counts as magic, but you know, it's a, it's a good it's a good start, I guess. Ethan's like, all right, now for my first trick, I will need a volunteer. What about you? Adopt me, real life two five three. Yeah, go on, get up on stage. Ethan's like, come here and. Oh, what's that noise? Wait a second. What is this sound? I think it might be something falling. Uh, watch out. Uh, can we look up? Uh, camera. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Was that a, a meteorite? <gasps> Ethan, Ethan, are you okay? Ethan's like, ugh. Oh, I think he's injured. What? What just happened? Oh my gosh, there's fireballs everywhere. There's somebody on the stage. Um, a person? Wait. It wasn't a meteorite at all. It was a person falling from the sky. Do you think it's our friend Harry? Hmm, okay. This mystery is getting a little spicy. Hey, we're back at home. What on earth just happened? Who is this guy? Oh, it looks like we've brought him back to our house. I don't know if it was a good idea helping him. What do you mean? He fell from the sky. Oh, yeah. I'm like, Dad said not to let strangers enter the house. But surely he would make an exception for a medical emergency. Oh, He's waking up. Hello? Are you okay? I teleported so fast. Did I destroy anything? Wait a second. Did you say teleported? Um, sir, tell me more about the teleportation. Wow. Uh, yeah, you did destroy something. Ethan's like, my show. Poor Ethan. It was his first big day. Uh, nah. Nah, nothing important. Um, Lila's like, by the way, who are you? I don't remember. I hit my head really hard. Yeah, you hit your head on the stage <laughs> really hard. All I know is that I can use magic and was fighting with a demon. Ooh, okay, so you know actually quite a bit. Interesting. Um, a demon? 
turn the TV on. Oh no, not the news. Is there gonna be something on the news? Uh-oh, breaking news. Shadow creatures are appearing all over the world. This just in. Some shadow creatures are appearing all over the world. Ooh, that does sound a bit scary. The police are trying to take care of the situation. Uh, and they are investigating where these monsters are coming from. Oh, okay. So it's recommended to everyone to stay home until further instructions arrive. Wow, okay, shadow people. Not exactly what I was expecting to see on the news, but uh, there you go. Uh, my friend Violet says, what is happening? Uh, our visitor says, I burned a book and a demon was set free. And now he is turning everyone into these monsters. Shadow monsters. And I can't do nothing about it since I am hurt and my memories are kind of blurry. Can I sleep here until I get better? This is the only thing I will ask. Mm, I don't believe that, actually. <laughs> I think you're going to ask other things. Uh, yes, I will trust you. All right, stranger, I'm going to trust you. But if you turn out to be a shadow person, I swear I will make you sleep in a lumpy bed. I'll make you dinner, but no dessert. Uh, oh, um, I say, yes, you can stay here, but just for one night. Thanks, I will sleep on the couch. Don't worry about me. Well, why would I worry about the person with amnesia who fell out of the sky and is fighting demons? Nothing to worry about there. Oh, look, he's asleep already. I guess fighting demons does really take it out of you. This'll probably be fine. Okay, day two. Do we think he's going to leave? Or do we think he's going to find a reason to stay? Ugh, oh, he makes so much noise while sleeping. Wait, where did he go? I mean, he did say he was only going to stay one night. Looks like there is something in the kitchen. It's a note. Okay, let's go read it. Quickly, we can find out where he's gone. Oh, and we can't forget to feed Larry. Gotta feed Larry. Okay, let's read it. Yeah, read. Thanks for letting me stay the night. I bought a Bloxy Cola for you all. Uh, I still don't remember my name. Well, hadn't considered how hard it would be to sign a letter if you have no idea who you are. Uh, ooh, a Bloxy Cola. For me, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're liking this video and you haven't already subscribed. Come become a unicorn. All right. Hey, missing. Mr. George, the cat. I wonder if that has anything to do with our current mystery. I'll just uh, pack that away in the old brain box for later, and maybe I'll head over to Bacon's Market, pick up some breakfast for the crew. Or maybe we can see if Mr. Bacon has any information about what's going on. Lila says, what strange weather? Let's check out the news on TV. Well, I want to know. Have you heard about the shadow monsters? Mr. Bacon's like, no, me what's working. Well, you should be careful. They can come for you. Me not afraid of monsters. Monsters doesn't exist. Um, lol, sir, have you watched the news lately? We are literally surrounded by shadow monsters. Oh, that's weird. Our TV isn't working. Uh, I think we should stay home for the rest of the day, says Lila, probably not realizing that I am currently not home. <laughs> Just down at uh, Mr. Bacon's market, and I didn't actually gain any information here other than the fact that Mr. Bacon does not believe in monsters. Violet says, it has been one hour Everyone disappeared. What is happening? Oh, uh, I mean, maybe they're just all inside. Wait, looks like there's someone outside. Yeah, there's someone on the stage. Um, what, we're just gonna go out there. Okay, uh, looks like we're just going out here. Is it Harry? Or Ethan? Is the guy who lost his memory? Or, or, yeah, Ethan? Are you okay? I think he's either very sad or he's become a shadow monster. So many months to prepare the show. So much time spent practicing. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of time that you put in there. For nothing. I mean, it wasn't nothing. It was kind of like a, like a dress rehearsal. I don't know. Fortunately, says Ethan, the true show. Oh, I'm scared. Is just about to start. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, that seems like shadow monster behavior to me. Oh my gosh, he's levitating. That is a good trick, Ethan. All of that practicing you did, it was actually totally worth it. And I think that you're doing a great job. And um, the show, it's amazing. Oh my gosh. Um, but you know, you can, uh, now that we've seen the full extent of your powers, you can just stop anytime. Just feel free to, oh, stop anytime. Okay, Ethan, the corrupted magician. He has a lot of health but we are going to defeat him. I'm gonna get up here with my wooden sword. Or maybe I could attack him with my block of cheese. Oh, oh, whoa. Wow, he's strong. This could take a while. A 
eventually. Uh, not bad, says Ethan with his toothy, pointy smile. Not bad at all. Yeah, you like that, Ethan? Let's see if you can handle this. Oh no, what is it? What is it now? Oh, he's doing something. Oh my gosh, explosions everywhere. Just gotta survive. Oh no! Oh my gosh, that was a real close one. Oh my gosh, I just gotta stay one step ahead. How much longer can I survive this? Eventually. Why are you so strong? If only my sword wasn't made out of wood, maybe this would go a little bit faster. Should I try the cheese? The deadly cheese? Maybe Ethan is allergic to dairy. This could be the secret weapon we've been waiting for. But maybe I'll just stick to the sword. You know, don't want to waste good opportunities on bashing him in the head with a block of cheese. Ah, 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 says Ethan. But you won't be laughing for long. Oh my gosh, maybe you will. <laughs> if he manages to take me out. There's not very many of us left. Mom and Dad are going to be so upset when they find out that some of us have been exploded by Ethan the Corrupted Magician. That was not one of the approved activities for the weekend. All right, come on, Emily. We can do this. Just keep chopping at that shadow. It's like he's astral projecting out of his body or something. Oh, yeah, come on, Amber. Yes, the girls are going to finish him. Oh, my gosh, I think he's... I think we did it. Ethan's like, what? Yeah, that's right. I cannot believe I was defeated. Well, believe it, baby, you are done. Oh, he says, it doesn't matter. I will be back stronger. Oh, you're going to disappear? Oh, yeah, he did a little disappear. Okay, it's good magic. He's gone. By gosh, I better kiss my lucky cheddar. I feel stronger already. Wow, that is some thunder. Okay, we should probably head inside. I don't want to get too soaking wet. Oh no, it's raining in the house! There must be a leak in the- Oh, no, it just stopped. Outside is not safe anymore, I say as I drink my Bloxy Cola. Hey, hey, everyone, come in! I just, I just said outside is not safe anymore. Wait, where are you going? Why would you stay outside when we've specifically said it's not safe? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh no! Oh, I think I just had my first encounter with a shadow person. Okay, day three. Another day, says Lila. I wish I could see mom and dad. Whoa, yeah, have we thought about calling them? Oh, there's someone at the door. Mom? Dad? Wait, it's not going to be mom or dad. Why would they ring the doorbell? <gasps> it's that guy, says Lila. Yeah, oh, he's just let himself in. Um, okay, so... He's like, I couldn't do anything. That demon is just too powerful. Also, everyone in the world has already become a monster. Uh, what? That is terrible news. You are the only ones remaining. Wow. Violet's like, it's all your fault. Why did you have to destroy that book? I am sorry, says our mystery man. But I used a spell to protect you guys. That's why you're all fine. Oh, well, if it's that simple, why didn't you protect everyone okay looks like there is no choice besides trusting you i sure hope i don't regret this okay i explained to him what happened with ethan all right so what do you think thoughts thoughts on this our mystery friend says so we didn't become a monster and got powers that could happen because he was angry and seeking for revenge. All right, that's pretty specific. This kind of feeling can be dangerous. Hmm, certainly can. And not just in a magical sense, kind of in your personal life. Anyways, I will stay here until I think about a plan to stop that demon. Okay, I will also be thinking about a plan to stop that demon. I wonder what it could be. Oh my gosh, can we like close the door or something? I feel a little bit uncomfortable. Do you want to know about anything? Uh, yeah, tell me about the demon. That demon is a big problem. He is strong, fast, and powerful. Tell me more. However, I think there is a way to beat him. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Uh-oh, he looks sad. I feel the demon coming. He is near us. Ooh, okay. That ain't good. He knows we are the last ones alive. Alrighty, what are we supposed to do about that? We should make a choice. What kind of choice? Stay home and wait or... No, fight the demon. Fight the demon. Get this over with. You know what, whatever your name is, I'm not just going to sit around and wait to become a demon's dinner. I am going to go out there and fight, he says. So I, we will fight him. 
I guess this is the only option. Yeah, it's like we find him now or we find him later. Oh, three hours later. Back at the magic show where all of this began. I'm like, the rain stopped. Ooh, is that a good sign or a bad sign? Our mate says, he will come anytime. Be careful. <gasps> oh no, there he is. I think he's appearing. Oh, that is some demon. Yeah, that's a shadow monster. The last ones are here, says the demon. Give up and become my servants. Shunt, I'm afraid. That sounds terrible. Never. We will fight against you. Yeah, that's right. Me and this guy. This is the end for you, demon. Be prepared because we won't give up easily. Yeah, that's right. Look at my... Oh, oh. <gasps> oh, no. I know your tricks. You won't escape this time. Ooh, that's not good. What? I think he has been stabbed. Oh no! Does that mean that he's going to become a demon? Are you okay? Mystery man? This can't be the end. Without you, it will be impossible to fight. You have to be strong. Come, oh. This is not the end. Is he becoming a demon or is he doing magic or... <gasps> I transferred my power to you! To me! Fight him and win! Oh my gosh, I'm powerful! The demon says, interesting! So you still want to fight? Okay, this will be fast. Uh, don't be so confident, Mr. Demon, because I am actually full of magic. And also I've got a wooden sword, so oh my gosh. Ooh, that's a pretty neat trick you got there. With your little, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 it's too fast. Ah. Oh my gosh, it's really fast. How am I supposed to get out of the way of this thing? Oh, oh my gosh, okay, okay. This is pretty intense. Wait, when do I get to use my magical powers? I want to start making swords fall from the sky. When is, when is it my turn? I think I just got like one swipe in there and then he, oh, look, <gasps> yes. Choppy choppy! Yeah, that's right. Oh my gosh, my wooden sword really is not doing a whole lot there. Although, I mean, plus a little bit of health. This is gonna take a while, isn't it? <laughs> Gotta say, I am a little bit concerned that I seem to be the only person here fighting the demon. Like, does that mean that literally all of my friends and siblings who were at the house when this whole adventure started, that they've all perished? That they've all turned into shadow monsters? It's just like, too much to bear and mom and dad are gonna be so upset and oh my gosh i forgot to feed larry <gasps> this is worse than i thought okay i'm gonna be grounded for a real long time i mean maybe if i defeat this demon and save the world i don't know maybe they'll be a little bit more forgiving okay give up says the demon even with this power you can't beat me we will see i say because I have this feeling that I am going to get there in the end. Oh my gosh, but I gotta, really gotta be fast. <laughs> Eventually. Boink, 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 boink. Boom. Cool. Are we getting there? This is not right. I can't lose to humans. Well, you, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, sending your shadow people after me. This is so not right. You can't even fight your own battles. You got to get your shadow people to do it for you. And oh my gosh, okay, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> a lot going on, and I'm noticing that I don't have a whole lot of health left. Oh yeah, there we go. Definitely revive. Are you kidding? I am so close to the end. Revive, revive, revive quickly. Get me back in the game. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it didn't even give me full health. That is so rude. Okay, it's fine. I am going to get there in the end. Boink, boink, boink. Maybe he'll just get tired of being boinked in the head and give up forever. <gasps> Ooh, this will be my final attack. Be prepared to die. You're all talk. You know what, demon? You are all talk, and I am sick of it. And the next time I get up onto that little platform, I am finishing you with my wooden sword. I am going to smash you. Just you wait. Come on. Come on. What? Says the demon. Yeah. 
I used all my powers. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is my chance. My body is not responding. I think it is my chance. I gotta get up there. This is the end. Oh, wait a second. I don't even get to deal the final blow? Come on. Oh, it's so what? Is he dead or? Oh my gosh, my friend. You did it. That demon won't be a problem again. Well, he's pretty cheerful for someone who has been stabbed so recently. Everyone will be back to normal now. Thank goodness. Also, there is something I want to say. I wonder if he's going to say that I should become a magician too. Wait, I got all my memories back and... <gasps> what did you remember? My name is Harry. I knew it. I knew that was our friend Harry. Harry? Like my old brother that disappeared long ago? Oh, I forgot that he was my brother. Oh, forgot that the whole story. I knew you would remember me. Don't tell him I forgot. Harry, I missed you so much. I am sorry for what I said before. Wow, why didn't I recognize my own brother? Harry's like, it's okay. Thanks, Harry. Thanks for understanding. A long time ago, when you disappeared, Mom and Dad decided to move on and come to this city. Yeah, there were just too many bad memories following us around. They got really sad. But they never gave up searching for you. Never. Not ever. That's actually maybe even what they're doing right now. Maybe this holiday was uh, just a bit of a, a search party or something. Harry says, that's good to hear. He's very emotional. It's been a really, really long time. They are coming here now, but I won't see them. What do you mean you won't see them? My time has come and I won't survive. <gasps> Uh-oh, the stabbins. I think it got him. No, you will be okay. I say, thanks, but there is nothing you can do. What about some magic? Can't we use magic? Maybe, maybe I can learn a spell or... Harry says, just say goodbye to mom and dad for me. Say goodbye to them. All right, Harry, I can do it. Oh no, Harry. Oh, I got to carry him inside. Harry? Harry, you still with us, bud? Yeah, looks like we're fading out. Three months later. What's gonna happen three months later? I wonder if I'm a famous magician now. <gasps> oh, mom's crying. Harry, says mom through tears. We should be proud of him, says dad. He was a true hero. It's true. Without him, I don't know if we'd be here. Ethan says, I need to admit. This guy was better than me. Oh my gosh, Ethan, you don't need to make this all about you, bud. Wow, look at this. Don't worry, Harry. We will always remember you. And that is Magic Show 2. The story of Harry and demons and my brave heroism. Okay, bye.